Hey, Matt Morris at mattmorris.com. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm gonna give you a quick show on how to be a good mentor. Just gonna give you a quick tip, something that you can use immediately. And this is something that I honestly kind of struggled with for a while because what would happen is I ended up struggling for a lot of years, about five years, uh, until I got to a full-time income. It all kind of you know, all came together for me, lots of reasons. Watch my other shows and, you know, you'll discover how I was able to make the shift. But, um, you know, where I started having trouble is when I started having success, in a way, um, I had a level of unconscious competence. I didn't know exactly how I was able to have the success. I just was because I kind of became that person. And, you know, whether it was communication skills, closing ability, uh, ability to get people started, inviting, whatever it was, I figured it out, right? Lots of tactical stuff. But, um, you know, and what would happen is someone would come to me and they'd say, man, I've talked to so many people, I'm not having any results. So I would always go tactical. And I'd say, all right, well, what are you saying to invite people? Who are you talking to? Um, how are you presenting? How are you setting up the presentation? What do you say at the end of the presentation? How do you close? Um, all of those things. I'm going through all of this tactical stuff, and I'd spend a bunch of time with people, and they'd go out, and it wouldn't work. They'd come back and say, I tried what you told me and it's still not working. And they were frustrated. I was frustrated because I didn't, I felt like I didn't know how to help them. I felt like I was really kind of a lousy mentor. And, um, you know, it's frustrating. So here's what I eventually figured it out. And I just want to give this to you now, um, implement it now. And you've probably heard me say this before, but. It's really not about the how-tos, it's more about the person. And what I ended up getting good at was really figuring out what uh, needed improvement in the person that was coming to me. And, you know, there's usually a sign. You know, it might be a personality thing, it might be the way that they communicate, it might just be a belief thing, it might be in their languaging. So I'm looking for signs of why they might be struggling outside of the script that they're using because I promise you, I know this, if you gave me a really bad script, I could go have success with the script. Um, you know, I've got other, you know, leaders who are really powerful. I can give them the wrong, terrible script. They're going to have results where I can give someone the best script in the world. And if they don't deliver it right, if they're not the right person, it's not going to work, even though it's the best script in the world. So what's the difference? The difference, it's inner game. It's your internal um, you know, it's your internal process. And so if you're having challenges on in the outside world, it's usually because you're having challenges on the inside world. And so um, this is the strategy I started using and I started seeing big results with it. When someone would come to me, rather than only going how to's. Now, sometimes I'll still, you know, go how to and, you know, give them some tactical information. But what I'm going to have them do is go out and this is really, you know, advanced stuff. Have them read a book. Pretty simple, right? But, you know, by simply having them go read a book, it's going to change them. And one of the reasons why it's really important for you to be very well read is it's gonna allow you to know what other people need. And so I know if someone comes to me and they've got kind of a victim mentality type thing going on, I'm gonna have them read Harbecker's Secrets of the Millionaire Mind because there's a whole chapter on victim mentality. I'm gonna have them read that book and I'm gonna tell them, read that book and I want you to call me as soon as you've read the book. I want you to take notes on it. Um, you'll get a ton from this book. It's gonna make a big difference for you. Read it, take notes on it. And then I want you to call me and I wanna talk about it with you, about what you got out of it. And so I would give them something to do. Now, if it was a belief type issue, I might have them read Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I might have them read As a Man Thinketh. Um, you know, if it's, um, you know, negative self-talk and belief, uh, it might have them read uh, Shad Helmstead or What to Say When You Talk to Yourself. If it's a fear issue, you know, they're having trouble breaking out of their comfort zone, I might have them read Susan Jeffers, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. If they've got a thing in their mind that, you know, network marketing is so hard or entrepreneurship is so hard or whatever it is is so hard, I'll have them read my book, The Unemployed Millionaire. I've got a chapter on beliefs and the power of lies on, you know, how we make things overcome 
complicated and it doesn't really have to be so hard. It can actually be easy if you'll believe it's easy. Um, and because I've read so many different books, I can give them that. I know if they've got some things about their personality, uh, maybe if they're overly sarcastic and I notice that you know sarcasm is a thing that they think is really funny, I know that sarcasm doesn't, um, doesn't correlate to income necessarily. I'll have them read How to Win Friends and Influence People. Um, if they haven't struggled with confidence as it relates to other people, it might be how to have confidence and power in dealing with people. And see, because I've read a ton of books, here, let me uh, show you um, my library here. And uh, if we scroll around, I've got a couple more you know, bookshelves over there. So I've read a ton of books. And because I've read a ton of books, I know what to tell other people to read. So that's my tip for you. Number one, you be very well read yourself. And then number two is when someone comes to you with challenges, work on building them from the inside out and watch what starts to happen. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you feel like this can add some value to some others, um, would love it. Absolutely. If you would share this um, wherever you are, you can you know hit the share button, Facebook, Twitter, um, you name it. And then if uh, you're not yet subscribed to my newsletter, hop over to mattmorris.com, put your name and email address in, you'll get my free videos, and I will send those to your inbox every single week. Thanks so much for tuning in. Go make life an adventure. Oh,